Hello. Say hello. Hello. Hello, John. How are you? Good. Say John. Hi. How are you? How are you? Are you okay? I'm okay. Say, praise yeah. God. Yeah. Say, praise God. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is a project in West Africa that we are supporting and uh, Pastor Joshua, who is also a prophetic gift, um, who also has recorded healings and uh, who does cast out demons of people. A lot of what's going on in sort of YouTube land today. But this is uh, obviously those of us that have visited West Africa and different areas in the world, we see the the gospel is very, very uh, powerfully uh, planted there. And so many people are coming to faith in Christ. Many people are being helped. Um, you know, with va various diseases, we, we do want to get involved with the Lord's altar there in Africa. I worked with this brother before for a number of months back in Ghana. And... Uh, so we, we both uh, worship uh, the living God and we preach the gospel and as I said signs and wonders follow those who preach the word of God and uh, indeed um, he doesn't preach salvation through the law through observing the law because what must come before that is grace is faith um, grace through faith in Jesus Christ that's what we preach but after that um, just as when the commandments were broken um, in Mount Sinai when the Israelites broke the, the physical commandments that were f the tablets of stone that were given by God and yet uh, when a person is born again they're written intact on the fleshly heart and that's from the book of Romans and as it says in Ezekiel, I shall make a, make you a heart of flesh out of a heart of stone. You know, I shall remove the heart of stone and make you a heart of flesh and write my commandments upon them. That's what the major prophets, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, Isaiah, going all the way back to the law and the prophets, that's what Yeshua fulfilled. Ah, you see that project? Of course, when a person is born again, the, they should have a, a far readily awareness of God's commandments, God's name, and so on. Um, these should be high priority to the believer. But in, in West Africa, as I said, the gospel has been very, very uh, firmly planted there for well over 100 years now since the British came and uh, overturned the Catholic Portuguese and uh, you know, it, it just meant that people enjoyed God more and could express themselves more and that's what they do in places like West Africa, they really do enjoy God um, they take prayer seriously and uh, take take preaching the word very seriously and uh, Joshua, I've known him for a number of years he is a real man of God um, very inspiring for those who have spoken to him and yes if you want to speak to him I'll, I'll give you some contact details but if you want to um, donate um, to this project it will be a prayer camp it will be used as I said for the preaching of the word for the building up of the body teaching of the body and for healing the sick and so on that's that's primarily what it will be used for um, there's not as many like homeless kids in, in West Africa or in Ghana as, as other African countries but certainly the, we do a little bit of that as well um, any homeless kids obviously give them a chance to uh, get in their feet maybe teach them um, a trade or two uh, there's a lot of people involved in this, this project so uh, if you want to donate um, I know a lot, a lot of people have wanted to donate to my ministry, uh, Jess Sharon, or donate to End Times Triple Seven. You know, that's us just going out preaching the gospel, doing the word here. The Lord looks after our uh, financial needs here. But um, I, I do believe in giving. 
you know, the Lord supplies our needs. We're not involved in any major projects just now here in the UK, but we are involved in this project and we will hopefully be visiting there very soon. And you can donate uh, to this project um, to help. The, the details are below. Um, as I said, if you want to talk to myself or Joshua, um, get in contact with me and uh, and just let me know um, your prayer requests, and you, you can have you can speak to them and find out exactly what they're they're doing there, and for the glory of God. All right, guys, all the best. Thanks for listening, and may the Lord bless you. Bye-bye. Bye.